Hi guys and welcome to this Excel Quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to hide or remove a column from a combo box. So here we have three columns and I want them in my combo box. But I don't want the ID column to be there because that could confuse the user. So let's go ahead and remove it. It is so easy to do. Alt F11 to go to the VBA window and then view code for your user form and you want to adjust the column widths property. And that's what allows you to make it look nice and neat so it fits in the combo box. And all you have to do to hide a column is to set one of those columns to zero. Then run the form and it is gone. But the data is still there and you can still get values from it and you can still use it in the back end, which is the reason to have a unique ID column in the combo box in the first place. And if you want more information on how to use that and how to make this guy, then check out part three of my free online user forms course. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And if you don't want to deal with it programmatically, you can change the column widths. Let's make this a little bit bigger by selecting your combo box and then just go to column widths down here. So if I really quickly wanted to put all of this right there, I would copy that. We could comment it out and go back here, click that guy, go to column widths, paste it in, and run the form. Now, if you want my full VBA course, I'll also put a link to it in the description of this video. So I've got a free user forms course and a full course. And if you're watching this video right after it was released, it will be out soon, I promise.